I wanted to get by, get to, to you with the latest on AOA technology, what's happening within the industry and your efforts in particular. Okay. Tell me what's happening. Alpha Systems has been around since the early 90s. So we've got almost 30 years of product development of different versions. That's our AOA. Um, we've actually stabilized on a HUD version. There's other people that make parts of AOA and my background actually started as a medical device design engineer. So when you're designing medical devices, they're life-saving product. What we do is make a system that pilots are gonna to use to help them become better pilots. The highest amount of fatalities are in base to final turns and accelerated stalls on takeoff. AOA is one of those devices that shows you absolutely how much lift margin you have away from stall. So, and, and the way I approached it is, is a little different. I look at when an airplane's flying in cruise, that's the lowest angle of attack that you can have. In other words, if I can show you on this wing, relative wind coming into the wing, that's lo the lowest alpha. In other words, the cord of the wing to the relative wind, that's zero degrees in most aircraft. As an airplane slows down and increases its angle of attack, you transition through a combination of number of segments to show how the trend is, and we're trending towards stall. And that's all this is, is a gauge. It shows that trending information about how much lift you have before you pull into a critical alpha situation. I've got myself a 182. How do I put this in there and how do you train them? So our system comes complete. When the mechanic, AMP, pulls it out of the box, they replace an inspection cover with our mounting plate. They feed the hoses and wires up through the wing. There's a computer in the, mod, in the kit that you plug the hoses into, you plug the connectors into, and then you pick, most customers purchase one of these two, which is the above dash mounted HUD, Eagle, the Eagle is the Chevron style, or the flush dash where the display is actually recessed through the top of the glare shield, or the swivel mount, which is our standard kit. Once you do that, you do a ground calibration, zeroing everything out, and then you do two flight calibrations, one at 1.3 VS, or 30% lower than it would take to stall the airplane, and then cruise, which we calibrate at maneuvering alpha angle or maneuvering speed weight adjusted. Our kit starts at 2550 for the basic kit without the HUD. With the HUD, either one of these two is 2980. How much to install? We've heard for high wings like Cessnas, it can range between 10 hours and 14 hours. We have pressurized kits, dual displays. It really depends on the accessories and the the type of airplane and the instrument panel. I've had PA-46s somewhere in the 40 to 45 hours because of the complexity. And this isn't a gadget. This is an actual instrument that once the pilots see it, they'll see the benefit immediately. What training is uh, available to make sure that they're taking advantage of all the potential the system offers? We have a pilot operating handbook that kind of walks them through the principles of angle of attack, how they use it in flight. I always, with every single customer, I ask them if they want additional information, give me a call. And where can people get in touch with you? Oh, um, alphasystemsaoa.com is our website. Putting in your fuel senders was one of the uh, the smartest decisions I made. <laughs> made a real difference in my flying. When I land, I will have the fuel that I expect to have, and it's it's just been a remarkable improvement. The size system gives me that confirmation, a whole new level of confidence with my level of fuel on board. I mean, I know exactly how much I've got. You know, such a simple thing, but so important.